Hey, welcome back to your Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. You know, video games have clearly become the leading form of media with worldwide sales near $2 billion and people from all walks of life beginning to see actually the value in games. Andrew Greenberg, he's the director, executive director of the Georgia Game Developers Association. He joins us now with a little bit of insight into the gaming culture and where the future of gaming is headed. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us uh, on the big show. And one of the things I've always found fascinating about gaming is that they really they never actually ever go out of date you got those uh, arcade games you got the nintendo craze from the 90s even people today love the nostalgia of playing both old games and the excitement of actually of new games talk about the development maybe even the evolution of gaming over the years why do you think there's still such a popular form of entertainment well you're absolutely right and i'm amazed my games from the early 90s i've been a game developer since 1990 and my games from then are still popular. And what's been an amazing learning curve for me is I come in thinking I'm a game developer. I know how to make games people will like. But over time, I realized that what people love most about the games we make is the community that forms around them. My games are multiplayer. Didn't have that many back in the day. But if you think back to the arcades, you had this incredible community of your friends having a great time together. If you had an Atari machine, you were playing with your friends in your living room together. Yeah. And that's true on a grander scale today with esports, with VR worlds and more just exploding. Like you said, it's now a $200 billion worldwide industry, surpassing box office, surpassing the music industry, et cetera. And it is now really about that community that forms around esports, around the games that you love. Of. And this is how people have, we know it as game designers, have been forming their bonds for years, but it became absolutely clear during the pandemic. Well, you mentioned the pandemic, and I think it didn't really occur to me about uh, the, the uh, how how much the world has changed and how much we accept it. I was watching, I was at a restaurant, I looked up and it looked like it was a Le Mans game, you know, a race going on, right? And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I go, something is not 100% right here. And I kept on watching and watching, and I go, that's a video game. They're, they're playing they're, like because it was the, the beginning of the pandemic and they couldn't do real races. So they were doing uh, races on TV. Is that how is the future of what we're actually going to see is that people and it took me a long time to go. Is that real or fake? Because it was so amazingly uh, vivid. Yeah, isn't that incredible? Yeah. Just the real realism of it. And we see that in racing. Race car drivers now practice on video games to learn the tracks because they are so accurate. What we also see is how game technology is moving out beyond games, how things like the Unreal Engine and the Unity Engine, the people used to make games, are now right. being used for autonomous cars, for aerospace industries, for architecture, for interior design, for construction. And uh, everything that we've been doing in games has really spread out into the mainstream culture. We often say that if it happens in games first, you'll then see it elsewhere. Microtransactions online, you first saw those in games. Uh -huh. Even the bad things, a lot of the security attacks that we had to learn to defend against, unfortunately, then went more mainstream. But things like how we in engage people in important tasks. Yeah. Gamification has become such a key element. Games to teach in schools are so omnipresent. It's amazing. We love seeing this spread throughout the population. You know, I think it's amazing too. Pilots can actually get part of the certification by using, you know, video games, if you want to call it. Same goes for truck drivers. All right, the hot topic right now is VR gaming simulation and metaverse. And we talk about it all the time here on the show, but I got to be honest, I'm not exactly 100% sure what the metaverse is or how it actually is ever going to affect me. Explain that uh, as, as easy as you can for us laymen. It often seems the people promoting it also don't know about it. <laughs> It's like Bitcoin. <laughs> exactly. But I go back to the idea of the community. So uh, we see Facebook and others meta saying meta, meta, meta. Right. But what's been going on under the current has been these VTubers, these uh, online um, uh, uh, event coordinators, creating these amazing events in virtual space. People can put on the headgear or uh, be just be on their computer to join in. And there's amazing music going on. The biggest music events on the pandemic were in a game, we're in Fortnite. Yeah. Millions of people attending this online, having an incredible time with great production values, I have to admit. Uh, and we're just gonna see more of this. And this is what Meta and the others are so attracted to, that there can be these massive, uh, engaging, uh, embra all embracing online communities that you just feel a part of when you put the goggles on. And these online events are, are wonderful. I love the VR games. Members of my Georgia Game Developers Association make some incredible exercise, vertical shift games. They're just moving around, great exercise as well as great fun. But even for them, what matters most is the community that forms in it. And that's what the giant companies are taking note of. How do we form yes. real communities that care about things that are passionate 
and they see it happening in virtual space. All righty, and the, you know, and it's celebrating. These are the people that are creating maybe in the metaverse, but out there, the future, if you think about that. If folks want to find out more information, I know there's a lot of uh, uh, parents that go, well, my kid really likes it. They want to be a game developer. Where can they go to find out more information about that? Not only the Georgia Game Developers Association, but elsewhere. Absolutely. We have more than 500 free videos on YouTube about all aspects of game development. They can go to our website, ggda.org. <laughs> we also have our YouTube channel, Georgia Game Devs. And the engines that I spoke of, Unreal and Unity, these are becoming skills that kids should be learning in high school because you're seeing them in so many industries. I want the kids to make games, but if they take these skills and do other things, I'm happy with that right. too. So looking at the Epic Games site for the Unreal Engine, looking for the Unity Game Engine, looking for things like the Very Fusion good. Game Engine, all of these will have wonderful cross purposes and are great uh, training tools for the kids and future jobs. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully we'll see meet in the real world and the metaverse as well. Thank you for joining us today. We'll have this interview on our website, Great. Daily Flash Show.